Yeah. Uh, yes, as I, I, I point out in the, in, in the conclusions, there are some similarities. And at least the, the main similarity at the industry level is that the emo, uh, hedonic beliefs uh, mediate this influence on effective consumer satisfaction, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I think, quite unique because there's no other research that has shown that. Mm -hmm. and it's showing that, that uh, consumers in, it, in every industry, uh, whether it is mobile phones or fast food restaurants mm -hmm. or uh, other industries could also, could also be tested, that they, uh, they want, uh, actually they evaluate more emotionally and at least for me personally, mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, the, uh, the finding that I found pretty much interesting and I like a lot was the finding from high, per, uh, high relative price, mm -hmm. which uh, when you have more expensive products, you buy more expensive stuff, you didn't, this is like a, 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 a purchase that you cannot easily justify because from the utilitarian perspective, from the rational perspective, you cannot justify why would you buy such an, uh, let's say a really expensive car if you can just move and train. Mm -hmm. But you tend to evaluate it more emotionally. I think that's the, mo the, most, the most important finding, mm -hmm. and at least from my perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you also find, find, <coughs> find common characteristics or common findings specific to Japan across industries? Across industries. Um, I. No, uh, yeah, of course, again, it's the same thing. I also found, if, if, you, if you, we see the results, yeah, let me show you. Different from other countries, but the Japanese especially. Uh, um, it's different from other countries in the case of Japanese. Uh, I found that they tend to be more rational. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case of J Japanese consumers, they, the influence of... Japanese are more rational than other countries. Yeah, than other, other countries, I think. Uh, Less effective. Yes, effective. I think it, uh, of course, there's still some research to do in this area mm -hmm. for two other, other countries to compare mm -hmm. the country differences. But at least I, uh, my theory, my idea is that because Japanese market is quite advanced and mm -hmm. consumers, uh, of course, have more knowledge, mm -hmm. therefore they are, tend to be more rational. And mm -hmm. even the, due to uncertainty avoidance, they tend to be more strict. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think they make these type of more strict evaluations, and that's why maybe mm -hmm. rationale mm -hmm. works harder for them, or stronger for them. Of course, at least uh, my analysis cannot still show that, mm -hmm. but uh, at least overall, what I saw is that the total uh, overall influence in the case of, uh, let's say, rational process compared to Bolivia is, is higher mm -hmm. for Japan. Yeah. yeah, also another question that I want to know the difference is, you, don't, you didn't get the data, but if you get the data from small clinics, mm -hmm. there is something about small clinics. So if you compare between big hospital, that you did, you did correct? And small clinics. Do you expect to find to find some differences? Mm, like small and small clinics and yeah. big clinics. Um, of course, this is not my area of expertise, but uh, maybe just a, a little bit like a educated guest. I think uh, in the case of big clinics, of course, you have more advanced processes, and therefore you will have also more uh, standardized. Uh, I think they maybe they they tend to be more uh, rational. Mm -hmm. I think they will be more rational processes working inside mm -hmm. because due to the rules that they yeah. need to work and due to the knowledge because mm -hmm. the corporate knowledge will be higher. But in small hospitals, at least I will, I will hypothesize that the corporate knowledge is quite small, so they will tend to make mm -hmm. more mistakes and mm -hmm. not have these standardized processes. Did you collect the data about the, about the respondent attribute? About the what type of what type of healthcare organization? No, I, I do not have. It. No. I do not have. I just hypothesize as we move forward because I, I cannot uh, support this. At least in the case in the, in the chapter seven, I just have data for mobile phones and fast food restaurants. But okay. I think the applications are could also go in that direction. So you didn't have data. You didn't have data about the actually responding directly with about what type of car, what type of automobile they they are using. Luxury car or very small. Um, it, again, this, in the case of uh, uh, this chapter seven specifically, mm -hmm. I did not collect that type of data. Mm -hmm. but I only concentrated into uh, test the influence of emotions. But in okay. the other, in the other uh, previous chapters, chapter uh, three, four, etc., I have some data. But uh, the, I, the objectives of the measurement were different, so mm -hmm. I did not see that. Have you have you compared differences between those those tests and data? Um, the com differences between the types of respondents yeah. of the, the both yeah. types of uh, consumers. Um, yeah, maybe out of your scope, uh, uh, just yeah. it, uh, 
Yeah, but uh, at least I, what I found is that as I expected, again, Japanese consumers tend to be have the uh, higher uncertainty avoidance compared to Bolivian consumers, which at least it, it's similar to the previous result. But I, well, should, I should have to see more in detail for each industry, at least that now I cannot give it full information. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Revise the question, I guess, yes, uh, My question is, uh, do you have some contribution for business from your result? Yeah, from the overall chapters? From the overall chapters, yeah. All the chapters. I think the main contribution, as I said, is that I, for the first time I was able to integrate different perspectives. The market-related perspective, the emotional perspective, and also the cultural perspective into overall model. Of course, it's still incomplete. There's still more things to do in this model, but I think uh, the, the model developed in Chapter 7, this model that considers emotional and rational processes, it showed that it could be extended to using other things, but at least it's, it's, I think this is one of the main contributions that this model, as I, I show also in Chapter 8, it, it, pers well, personalization works, it, it could be extended. So uh, using culture, using emotions, using market share, etc. This, uh, this overall contribution shows is, uh, well, it, that integration, which was the purpose of this research, having the over, uh, integrate emotional, rational, and uh, cultural processes into the world. I think that's the main contribution. What is your contribution uh, from your result? I mean, if you have some, give some advice for some company, what kind of advice? Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, what Mm, of course, the, depending on the, on the type of company I would like, I, I, first of all, I will have to see what are the, what are the conditions of, and what conditions the company is operating by this case of consumer satisfaction. But uh, at least I would uh, theorize that uh, most of the models that we'll be using will not be considering uh, uh, emotional processes or uh, culture. So I think uh, I will first advise to try to measure these types of uh, variables to have a better uh, explanation of the values and to have better, better information about the consumer itself to uh, offer a better products and better services. I think at least I will go into that and we're going to try to integrate this uh, seemingly previously untouched perspectives into the whole model and we're going to, uh, at least I will, I will recommend that, to integrate that. So that's, uh, that kind of device is uh, during the uh, new product the process or what kind of uh, stage? I mean, this kind of result uh, should be uh, used in which stage of the product? Uh, in order for a current product, you have to for the improvement? Uh, it would be an improvement, of mm -hmm. course, because uh, consumer satisfaction is an evaluation after you purchase a product, so you cannot go straight from the beginning. At least you can, but uh, in this case the idea was after having the evaluation, <coughs> use of information for uh, the improvement in the operations of the company and these operations of what you offer to the consumer. So I think uh, it would be uh, after uh, having some information about the product that was delivered to the consumer and making the proper uh, research of, the, of what the consumer wants, then you can integrate that and you can use this information and add these new variables to improve and have a better product that could satisfy the consumer. Do you have any uh, comment for Japanese electronic uh, industry? Uh, uh, I think, uh, of course, the Japanese industry, it's uh, just my opinion again, it, I cannot, uh, it's, 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 I should talk with data, but at least from what I read, is that the Japanese uh, electronic industry, it's quite advanced, of course, but it has, it's, it's having problems with uh, competition with the American companies like Apple. Uh, I think, uh, at least uh, checking, going with my research, what I think uh, is happening is that uh, Apple is, uh, has excelled in developed products that uh, are not necessarily fully, uh, uh, can I say, you can evaluate fully rationally, but consumers actually attach a lot of emotions. Let's say uh, having an iPhone, a lot of people, uh, if you think about it, this is, this is the same cell phone, but why people buy this thing more? 
is because it, it is nice, it's, it's quite sleek, it's sexy, they like it, and they are even are willing to make huge lines to buy it.